Pythagoras' Theorem. So this video is just meant as a revision aid and not as a teaching tool, although I'll try to explain as much as I can about Pythagoras' Theorem. Okay, so Pythagoras' Theorem says the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now that sounds can sound quite complicated when you first come across it, but the idea, once you get used to it, is fairly straightforward. And the idea is, and I'll just bring this to help explain it, um, if you draw a square on the longest side, which is the hypotenuse, which is always opposite the right angle, so here's my right angle and my triangle, it's always to do with right angle triangles, the, the square that's drawn on this side, the hypotenuse, the longest side, is equal, the area of that square is equal to the area of this square plus the area of this square. Now the area of a square is just the length times uh, squared because it's the same on each side. So this uh, this square has an area of 9 because it's 3 times 3. This square has an area of 16 because it's 4 times 4. So this bigger square is equal to 9 plus 16 which is 25. Now that helps us because if we've got a missing side we can work out the length of one side of a square because we know this side times itself equals 25. So to find, to do the opposite of that, we need to do the square root of 25. So x is equal to the square root of 25. So the square root of this area of this square. Okay, so let's just have a look at that on a different different triangle. Now the reason why I draw the squares on here is because you can learn this using a formula like, like the standard one that people use is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. But that can be forgotten and and if you're a visual learner it can be much better to draw the squares to help you remember what the connection is. So I would encourage until you get very good at this to draw squares on the side. They don't have to be good squares, they just have to remind you what the connection is. So if I draw three very poor squares we know that this side, the hypotenuse, the square on this side which is 13 squared which is 169 is equal to this side squared which is 144 12 times 12 plus this side squared, well I don't know what this is but this is y so that would be y times y is y squared so this one, the big one, 169 is equal to 144 plus y squared. So we know y squared is going to be 169, take away 144, which should be 25, and therefore y is the square root of 25, which is 5. Just like it should have been this one, I didn't actually write the answer there, which is 5. Okay, let's have a look at one more triangle. And I'm going to do this one using sort of standard formula rather than drawing the squares and then I'll show you the squares as well. So the hypotenuse which is used is this bit c squared is the z squared is equal to the other two square the square of the other two sides. So we've got 6 squared plus 10 squared. 6 squared is 36, 10 squared is 100, it's 136. So z is equal to the square root of 136 because that's what z squared is. So z equals, let's bring the calculator in, square root of 136. And that on this calculator gives you um, some another square root, but if you press the SD button, that'll give you a decimal 11.7, decimal uh, one decimal place, or th three significant figures. Or you could write out the whole answer that's on the calculator if you want. Okay, so that's three standard examples of just right angle triangles being drawn. It must always be a right angle triangle. You know it's a Pythagoras question, because it's a right angle triangle, you're given two sides and one side is missing. There's no angles involved, it's just the sides of the triangle. Okay, so they're standard ones. Let's have a look at one that is uh, supposed to be a real world situation. So here's a classic version with a ladder up against a wall and we're told the ladder is 7 metres long and it's 2.1 metres away from the wall how far up the wall is the ladder going to reach? Now what we've got to do here is to realise this is just a right angle triangle here is the hypotenuse 
here is one side, here is another. So this side, um, this this angle here is a right angle. So there's our right angle triangle. Sometimes it helps just to draw it out separately. So we've got 2.1 and 7, and this is our missing side. So using the squares idea, if I draw the big square and the two small squares, 7 squared is 49, 2.1 squared, I think that's 4.41, I'll just check that, 2.1 squared, 4.41, yep, and then this side is going to be the big square minus the small square, so 40, uh, 49 take away 4.41, so the area of this square is going to be 44.59, um, let's just check that. So 49 minus the answer we had, 44.59. So this length here is going to be the square root of that area. So the height, how high it's going to go up the wall is going to be the square root of 44.59 and we do that on the calculator square root the answer because it's that horrible thing or approximately 6.68 and rounding it rounding it off there at the seven um, so it's going to round up to eight because the next numbers are seven okay so that's a, a quick reminder of what Pythagoras theorem is all about we have the standard questions with right angle triangles drawn for us and then we have a real world modeling example with the ladder against a wall with these ones you just got to visualize where the triangle is maybe draw it separately and just solve it like the other ones